Well, the regional district of Nanaimo consists of four municipalities. Of course, the largest is Nanaimo. There's about 150, 160,000 people. The landfill was becoming full, and uh, we tried to relocate uh, with different sites, and it, there was just no place in our area that we could do it. Shipping solid waste uh, into the hinterland, into the interior, we tried that for a while. That's pretty expensive, and of course, the truck traffic going up the Fraser Canyon, uh, greenhouse gases, uh, you name it, all the problems. So we made the decision that we would optimize the capacity of our existing landfill, we would run it as efficiently as possible, and that we would promote zero waste. We've gone into, uh, in now to where we're diverting 63% of our waste. So our approach has been businesses and households. We actually regulate private sector recycling facilities, we ban the disposal of materials once there's a private facility that will take it. And in 2005, we banned food waste from disposal because a private sector facility constructed here in Nanaimo on the promise that we would regulate, level playing field, and that we would also ban food waste from commercial establishments. We we're already looking at composting. Uh, regional district approached this uh, through the pilot projects. Uh, Room Foods was one of the first uh, commercial stores to be involved. The regional district had lots of information. We had lots. Of, we had a student in from the regional district that came in and helped educate us. We educated her a bit too because we were doing the program fairly early. So it was a it was a win-win on both sides. I think that as local government managers, we're great at uh, at developing plans and programs in collaboration. But the innovation I think has really come from those haulers and generators that want to do the right thing and they want to be cost-effective when they do it. There was a consultation between the two companies and just how we would work together with a pickups, delivery, and to. Be Kind of common goal is to recycle the program. Uh, we went to our suppliers, we came up with a split bin technology to actually accommodate that so we have organic waste on one side, garbage waste on the other. 25% of the waste compared to before there was everything was going into the garbage and now it's not going in the landfill and it's going to a uh, you know back to the earth. So we're at our 75% reduction target. Uh, we're about 23% waste now. With the introduction of the residential green bin program last year, we needed to build a new facility that would transfer food waste and also that would handle the growth for the next 20 years. So this transfer station was actually built to lead gold standards to be a zero waste facility. We have contracted with a firm that is using split packers to collect garbage and food waste one week and uh, recycling and food waste the next week. So we're also about reducing greenhouse gas emissions. And the residential green bin, which I know that many communities across Canada have, it's the end of what has been a long process to get everybody in the region to go towards zero waste. 